The Muter Museum is a part of the College of Physicians of Philadelphia. The original objects were donated by Dr. Thomas Dent Muter in 1858. The Muter Museum holds over 20,000 abnormal objects. Some objects in the museum can be classified as anatomical and pathological specimens, such as a skeleton and dry specimens, medical instruments, and apparatus. There are also objects made from plaster, wax, paper mache, and plastic. Medical illustrations, photographs, prints, and portraits of famous physicians can be found in this museum. Along with all of these things the museum has to offer, there is a medical garden, which Benjamin Rush encouraged the care of as a natural and cooperative way to replenish their medicine chests. Dr. Samuel Gross was chair of surgery from 1856 to 1882 and inspired many Jefferson medical students with his lectures and surgical technique. In the painting of the Gross Clinic, Thomas Eakins portrays Gross's surgical area as dark and unsanitary. It is visible in the painting that the surgeons and assistants didn't wear gloves and the tools that they used were not high quality. Dr. David Agnew was also a well-respected surgeon. After he graduated from the University of Pennsylvania, he opened a practice in Philadelphia. He worked in the Agnew Clinic during the Civil War. This painting of the Agnew Clinic was made in 1889, also by Thomas Eakins. There have been major improvements in the surgical health standards in clinics, such as the use of gloves and it was well lit for students to observe the surgery. The Agnew Clinic looks a lot safer and sanitary compared to the Gross Clinic. Pennsylvania Hospital was the first hospital in the U.S. and was founded in 1751 by Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Bond. Dr. Bond's vision described a hospital for the ill, which was free of charge. He envisioned a place for those who wandered the streets of Philadelphia. Although Dr. Bond had backing from local Philadelphians, it took friend Benjamin Franklin to help convince the Pennsylvania Assembly to successfully open the hospital in 1751. Pennsylvania Hospital gained a reputation as a center of innovation and medical advancement, particularly in the area of maternity. In its early years, it was known for its humane facilities for mentally ill patients during a time when mental illness was greatly misunderstood. The hospital was also used to treat the war wounded. Patients were brought to the hospital for treatment in the Revolutionary War, the American Civil War, the Spanish-American War, and units from the hospital were sent abroad to treat wounded in World War I and in World War II. Some of the notable doctors to work in Pennsylvania Hospital were Benjamin Rush and Philip Physick. Historic medicine used plant parts, animal parts, and minerals. In many cases through history, such medical things would be used for religious rituals or administered by group leaders, such as priests, shamans, and medicine men. The Greek physician Hippocrates developed the foundation for modern medicine, being responsible for creating the Hippocratic Oath. Similar to medicine, early surgery would be performed by priests who specialized in a particular treatment. In ancient Greece, audacious procedures such as eye and brain surgery were recorded. However, such procedures were not attempted again for nearly two millennia. During the Middle Ages, surgery developed more in the Islamic world. Modern surgery strongly developed during the scientific era where control of bleeding, control of infection, and control of pain through anesthesia became key focus points in performing surgery. Benjamin Rush was a founding father of the United States. He is considered the father of American psychiatry. Rush was a signer of the Declaration of Independence, though he is more famously known today as the man who helped reconcile the friendship of Thomas Jefferson and John Adams by encouraging both of them to continue to write to one another. Rush was an advocate of bloodletting and calomel therapy, which were widespread treatments in America at the time. Rush pioneered the therapeutic approach to addiction. Prior to his work, drunkenness was viewed as being sinful and a matter of choice. Rush believed that the alcoholic loses control over oneself, 
which led him to identify the properties of alcohol, rather than the alcoholic's choice as the casual agent. He developed the conception of alcoholism as a form of medical disease and proposed that alcoholics should be weaned from their addiction via less potent substances.